On that fateful morning of 16th July 2016, Mrs. Rita Oramalo served her children with flour meal and soup from the soup she made the previous night in preparation for their breakfast on the fateful day. All the children from the most senior, Master Chukwebuka, who was 17, to Chizi Terem, who was 6 years old, ate the food, except the last child, who is 4 years old, because he preferred tea and bread, which he was obliged since he is the last child. Back from school, the children were hale and hearty, not until in the night, when the 11-year-old Chekubechuku began to vomit and was rushed to a hospital in a neighboring community by their father's half-brother. After a while, the 15-year-old Chine Merem started having stomach issues that led to throwing up just like her brother. Her father also rushed her to a maternity home in their community. According to their father, Apostle Chooks or Amalo, she received treatment and regained consciousness, and he went back home with her, only to discover that the little Chiziterem, who was six years old, has lost consciousness. Before he could take him to the hospital, he gave up the ghost. From then on, these children began to die one after the other. As no ya fuyofo. Let's hear from Apostle Oramalo as events unfolded up to the burial day proper. That is how mom said. So Lucia and I sat today morning. The baron developed punky. But what I need is you. Niger, be chatting near him, be chatting. Where did any man want to near you? Where the poison so hard? Where did any girl be chatting? Now guess what he said. You are. You are the Jesus. <laughs> My first wife, Bria Bertia, Yanoga Muki. Okay, no go wine. Mm. Um, I am to Mrs. Oramalo, she came to the family empty-handed, since it pleases God that her children will be wiped out in one day. Well... Since the kitchen is located outside the house, there is a possibility that someone might sneak in and poison the soup. There is also a possibility that the food was contaminated. Let's find out from the police public relations officer, Mrs. Nkiru Ngode. You can see, like I said before, my princess actually did this kill people, but I continued where he stopped. The sample of the food that they took was this one. Yeah. This one was taken to forensic department in Alaska. Yeah. The sample of the food they took has been taken to forensic department in Alaska, and we are still waiting for the analysis and reports. That is all I can say for now. Okay. Then as soon as the reports and the analysis comes, I'll be able to communicate the public. All right. The question that needs an urgent answer is, who poisoned the food and why? This is one angle to the story. The other angle is on freedom of worship. From what News Plus found out, Apostle Ramalo is in quagmire with his kindred and immediate family members because he is a member of Brotherhood of Cross and Star, otherwise known as Olumbo Olumba. News Plus is asking again, is there any law prohibiting freedom of worship in Nigeria? Let's hear from the Southeast Chairman of Civil Liberties Organization of Nigeria, Comrade Aloysius Atta. 
Nigeria, the Federal Republic of Nigeria has a constitution. 1999 constitution has amended, stated clearly in Chapter 4, Section 38, gives us the freedom of thought, conscience, and religion. You don't force anybody to worship a particular church or religion or to choose a particular religion. It's a free world where you have the right to choose whichever one you want to worship. And nobody should be compared to choose a particular religion against the other. The fact remains that the lives of Chukwe Buka, Chine Merem, Afoma Chuku, Chekube Chuku, Onye Kachuku and Chizitarem have been cut short for reasons only God knows. Here lies the bodies of deceased children that were formerly Apostle Chuk's Paramalos children. They were buried in a mass grave. A sad incident, a sad end for this end. News Plus and the entire Anamba Broadcasting Service ABS are joining the League of Others in saying, May their souls rest in perfect peace. And to the apostle who lost his children, we are also saying, let God give you the fortitude to this irreparable loss. From Ekulumi in Inewu South local government area, I am Ngozi Ogile, reporting for ABS News Plus.